the White Rabbit's house. All right, governor, you must be the who jammer flip with the thingamajig, and not a moment too soon, I'd say. That there's Mr. Rabbit's place with several holes in it. What have no mind being there, if you get me meaning. Unfortunately, he ain't round to tell you any more than that, as he's off trying to apprehend a 20-foot girl what's disappeared into thin air. Good luck with that, I say. Anyway, you better get to it. I mean, there's Nails caked in coat. No, I mean coated in cake. And then you, there's you with your great wet water cannon thingamajig bob. Bill. <laughs> okay, I don't... I don't recognize Bill the Lizard, but apparently he's Australian. Why does this door look like a donut? I don't mind saying that white cat rabbit's as mad as a hat full of angry carrots. <laughs> it's a great metaphor, right? I mean, wouldn't you be? Probably, if I lived in a place like this. It's just carve out the roof. After an hard day, Russian air there and everywhere, he comes home, opens his door to see what? I do wish it just played it out all at once, rather than stuttering. I read faster than it does. An enormous arm giving him the elbow, that's what. Or was it a knee? <laughs> ah, the handle, there we go. Before I forget. I mean, I like what he's done with the walls. <laughs> he, like, clean off the food stains. And it's like an oil slick. Ding! Excellent. Right, now work our way around the trim. Oh, the ladder's an annoying place again. It's fine. It'd be nice. I, I get it. It is kind of cool where the, the ladder is there lying around somewhere. Great immersion, realism, whatever. It'd be nice if I could just, like, summon it. <laughs> just go, okay. I need my ladder. Let's just roleplay that I've gone to get my ladder. <laughs> and then I'll put it somewhere. So it's just lying around on the floor. Let's let some light into this place. There we go. Nice. And got the frame as well. Good. And then there we go. Archway trim. Well, there was something almost finished. It's lost the skin again. I shouldn't have to select it every time. Oh, and it's lost my skin too, yeah. Ah, dear. Ooh, skylight. Didn't realize there was a skylight. Let's get that cleaned up. Cute, sweet. Right, so there's paints on the surface of water and you dip it into trench with the pattern? Yeah. It just reminds me of just like a film of oil or something over the top of water. This just makes me think of Igrishul. <laughs> That's something out of God of War now. <laughs> In a frame. The outer frame, I suspect, will take a lot longer. <laughs> so it seems to join onto the tree, a wall tree. Oh, there's a separate one. There's central tree and there's wall tree. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and then the staircase goes up there too. Alright. Outer window. What is it that I'm. Oh, it is still the central tree, yeah. Something flashing up. Is it all of the window pieces done there? I think it might be. Right, clear 
clear away the ceiling. Trim. So anyways, White Rabbit does what any proud homeowner would do. He climbs up to the window, tutting away. Good. Nice section. But no sooner he got up to the window than this huge Anne comes out and swats him away like he was a gnat or something. Straight into his prize winning cucumber frame. What? Okay. What does he win the prizes for with his cucumbers, I wonder? Is the white rabbit perhaps known for a different trade? Another window. I do like the mosaic window. Hydro dipping. That sounds likely. Vaguely remember doing something like that at school, like something in art class. Let's get you just out of the way, silly step ladder. Actually, you can go in the entrance hall. They'll get you out of the way. Lounge ceiling should almost be done. There we go. And the trim. Excellent. Now, this wall tree extends all the way up here. Hmm. I can't help but feel it's a bit mean on the trees to just embed them into the wall like this. Like, how are they expect it to grow further? Yes, they don't. I'm fairly sure they did. <laughs> Rip wall tree. It's like the fantasy idea of oh, having a house in the trees. It's like, yeah, it's all well and good until you realise trees grow and houses don't. <laughs> so you'd better allow for that. <laughs> the bits of tree at the top there. Oh, this is staircase wall. Okay, so it's separate to the lounge wall. Another nice big window. Excellent. It's like Homer's donut supply exploded in here. I should probably do the ceiling first actually but we're almost done the staircase wall now so so to hell with it <laughs> what am I missing okay. these stairs are going to be a bit annoying but I'll just do them walking down them backwards probably <laughs> alright staircase ceiling we can get in behind this limb of the tree Almost. There's the trim. There's the ceiling. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Wonderful bits on the inside of the tree limbs here. Make it easier to clean the rest of it. Alright. Um, where was I? So, step ladder. You can just. Oh, I can't fit you into the entrance way? Well, that's annoying. Can I fit you on a. Sp okay. Let's clean off a little bit more floor over here, and then we can put the step ladder on that, hopefully, just to get it out of the way. Okay, can I pick you up and put you down here? Oh, 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 there we go, good. That gets it out of the way. So he tries again and gets the same treatment. What do they say about trying the same thing and expecting a different result?
40% done. <laughs> At this point I volunteered at his suggestion to climb in through the chimney. Okay. I didn't realise you were an active participant in this. So, yeah, I don't remember a build the lizard. Flame and Nora, I was given the boot just makes you forget what day it is. Okay. Is, is that why you talk like this? It is still yesterday, right? Sure. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm streaming to an American audience. Uh, it is still yesterday. Unless it is the 13th yet. Yeah. So, I guess. <laughs> uh, there seems to be a problem with your fireplace. Uh, it doesn't have a hole in it. How's the smoke meant to get out? Didn't he say that he climbed through the chimney? I hate to break it to you, mate, but uh, I think he went somewhere else. Yeah, how am I going to get the right angles for this stuff? I guess we can take the extension off. Just get right in. Yeah, there we go. Here. Oh, 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 too close. There we go. Right in behind. The hood is still there, the hearth is a bit at the bottom anyway, there we go, so it's the hearth, and then the hood, oh we've got the carrot, most importantly we've got the carrot, every f good fireplace needs a carrot, wouldn't you agree? Uh, is it somewhere in here, there we go, that's where I missed, good good, it's the 12th, birthdays in 5 days, well well well, I hope you managed to do maybe a birthday stream to a birthday stream hype if not I might be able to do one for you <laughs> didn't you have enough points to redeem something should I have said anything I'm actually taking this week off work but we are going to be away for a couple of nights of that Oh, this is all his clock collection, that's right. The clock wall. Central tree. A nice big comfy armchair. Ooh, I don't remember the armchair. It looks like the back of a car with like the big protruding tail lights or something. You know, like a, a Cadillac with the fins? <laughs> it's like that. Clock wall still sounds kind of neat. Maybe. As long as they don't all tick. If they all ticked, like, just slightly off from each other, can you imagine how infuriating that would be? Oh, see, now this, though. The, yeah. They're not ticking, they're dinging. <laughs> We've got most of them in one sweep, but unfortunately some of them have extra sides to them. We're going to have to figure out which ones we've missed now as well. Go back over them. But did we miss any? Maybe we got them all. Okay, cool. There's the wall. Let's go to get the table. Coffee table, more like a clocky table. Ha! Ah, uh, got them. Should have a clock face on the top of the table. Fit the motif. Armchair is done. Found we make me do something for this particular birthday. Ah! Ah, the obligations of family. I think I got asked, oh, do you want to do anything for your birthday? No. <laughs> I 
generally I very specifically don't want to do anything for my birthday. I do things all the time otherwise. I wouldn't want to do anything on my birthday. Also half the time you yeah, usually end up visiting the hospital, so you know. <laughs> Actually I think that is what we did on oh, that was last birthday, I think. This one I think was at home. Just. Said last year I would stop making a big fuss over not wanting to celebrate my birthday, so I'm not allowed to complain this year. <laughs> I mean, it is a little bit of an, a um, contradiction. Not really. I'm not sure what the right word is, but ooh, ooh. okay, never mind. Wait till the ding is done. There we go. Don't want to talk over all the dings. And it's like you know, if if you don't want a fuss made about you on your birthday, then you can't very well then make a fuss about not wanting a fuss to be made about you. That makes any sense. That, that just sounds like something that the mouse was saying earlier in this. So it makes about as much sense. Like, I don't make a fuss about not wanting to do stuff for my birthday, I just don't really want to. Thankfully, my family at least are usually those who are happy to not really do anything. It's, you know what I want to do for birthdays? I want to spend time with my family and not be doing other things. And enjoy each other's company. Instead of having distractions. It's different for milestones, I guess. I've got another three years to worry about that. So if there was no way of taking back the else, there was only one thing for it. Ding 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 dong. We had to make her leave by her own will and testament. <laughs> so we had to kill her. doing things backwards again. I was meant to do the roof first and then work my way down but I got distracted by the dings again. So I tell White Rabbit about the absolute bestest way to get someone to leave your house. What's that? he asks. So I tells him. And I assume we have to wait until 80% to learn what that was. <laughs> Set it on fire. Okay. Right. Of course. The there is some logic there. Of sorts. Works every time. How often do you set your house on fire, Bill the Lizard? Are you actually just a pyromaniac? I want for my birthday is to get some cake or brownies and relax in my room all day. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, treats are always nice. Feeling an unintentionally ooh, ding, ding, rubbed off because now he wants to treat his birthday like it's not special. I don't want my kids to ever think they aren't worth celebrating. I mean, there's two different things at play there. Like, people are worth celebrating, but you don't have to do that on a specific day. Birthdays, you don't have to want to do special special things on your birthday especially if it's not a convenient day like you should always feel like you can do a proxy or something it's like well for my birthday like maybe it's even a month away and it's like well I want to do this for my birthday even though it's actually later Like, it's a bit of a, almost like a trump card, where it's a case of, you know, once a year, maybe you do get that, that license, where you can go, ah, this is for my birthday. Or you get yourself a treat. Like, last year I upgraded my graphics card. That was basically like, it's for my birthday. <laughs> but yeah, 
because otherwise sometimes people make too much fuss out of things like birthdays and it can be at the expense of other things it's like oh well I did such and such for your birthday but someone may feel not valued as a person all the rest of the time just because they had something special done for their birthday doesn't excuse that like people are worth celebrating every day I stopped having birthday parties and doing particularly special things, I think, quite early on, and I didn't mind. <laughs> okay, we've got another chorus of dings coming soon, I think. Oh, maybe not. Just a few. There we go. A few more. Now, we've got to get a different angle on this stuff, I think. Bing. There we go. There's a few more. I think we might have already done all of those. Because the other thing is, you never know whether or not you're going to make it to your next birthday, let's be honest. <laughs> I don't mean to bring down the mood or be morbid, but uh, speaking realistically, you never know when something might happen, even, you know, not that seriously, but. Something might scupper plans for your actual birthday, or the weekend after it, or whatever. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, never mind, we're getting our chorus of dings again. I'll, I'll shut up. So it pays to just take advantage of the times whenever in order to do things. Don't, don't wait till a birthday. What am I missing here? Something... something was highlighted still. One of the pots? No. Stove top? No. Jars? No. Shelf? I all seem... Oh, oh, no, there was something. Kitchen countertop. Really? Oh, behind the pots. That makes sense. Alright. Uh, that is the kitchen, and it's barrage of dings seemingly done oh we've got to do underneath this for the wall tree and we've still missed some other bits of it as well is it looking this way yes it is there we go nice For my 40th birthday, what I'll probably end up doing is it's a case of saying, alright, I'm 40 this year, I'm going to go on another holiday or something, and I'll find somewhere else to go that I want to go, and that'll be, the present for me will be going somewhere or doing something different. I mean, I'm already doing that this year regardless, but... let's walk backwards down these stairs don't try this at home especially while holding a power washer walking backwards downstairs is not funny it'll never be cool and it's extremely dangerous yes I did it when I was a kid <laughs> especially when it's just wood maybe if there was black like, carpeting or something or yeah some sort of soft surface but hmm Yes. There we go. Let's get the ceiling done, shall we? Before we go too much further on this. Motorcycle had a freaking death wish in a truck. One that pulls the RV, was passing a car. He goes between me and the car as we side by side. Yeah, that's extremely common over here. There's two types of motorcycles. There's those who have crashed and those who will. Those who have tend to be a little bit safer. Those who will tend to think that they won't. <laughs> I think a lot of it comes from, for many people, the reason they like motorbikes is the, the rebelliousness of it. The feeling that it gives them more freedom than with a car. They feel 
So just a little bit rebellious. And that makes them feel they can just cut between cars and go up the inside of things. And yeah, you realize you're much more vulnerable on a bike. <laughs> if you crash, you're in trouble. I was preparing the lightning rod and the torches, everyone suddenly started chucking whatever they could find through the windows. Ah, so you didn't get to set the house on fire. Okay. Disappointing? It was mayhem, of course. That's when Dormouse started luzzing cakes. Luz eating, I think. Eating gratuitously. It just laughed at me. What you doing, I asked. That one does not die. There we go. Easy says, as soon as she realizes that there's more cake outside the house than inside it, she'll come running. Again, some logic. Of sorts. And he was right, she disappeared into thin air. Okay. I can't remember how it actually happened or what even happened. Presumably it was one of those things that then made her go small again or something. Ding ding ding. That would be a really cozy place for a bed. The only thing is I'd really want to have some curtains or something. Oh, I can actually kind of see out. That's cool. Um, because, oh, nice gloves. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, otherwise, I'd, you'd wake up as soon as it was sunrise. But I guess maybe that's fine if you're in early riser. <laughs> I might actually just get in here. Yeah, and I kind of have to actually get in here. The angle is atrocious. But I just have to get on in here and spray away. I got the frame. Good. Pillows are done. Good. Okay. I'm done in there now. It's good. Didn't, didn't take long. The other thing with um, motorbikes that I'm reminded of a lot is... I think it was when Stephen Fry was on Top Gear. They were talking about bikes. And how... Doctors will refer to motorcyclists, especially when it's raining, as donors. <laughs> oh, ding, 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 ding. Oh, just when I get excited about a flurry of dings, it finishes. There we go. That's the disc. Wall. There we go. Wall panel. How is this not just part of the wall? I would call it the trim instead of the panel, personally. The bedroom tree, because of course, everything, everything should have a bedroom tree. Uh, where else is this reaching that might have been missed? Ah, nowhere. Good. Excellent. Uh, we did the, yes, bedroom. We got credit for the wall tree. We haven't quite finished yet, but then there's the tops of the window and everything for that. Good. In there. Now let's do this bedroom wall and trim. Owl dresser. That's cute. I like that. The thing is, I don't imagine all of this was fleshed out in, like, the book or films or whatever so they must have made some of this up surely I, I wouldn't have imagined that Alice peered into the bedroom but maybe I don't know again can't remember but I wonder if they did make some of it up and if so how well they've done capturing it not sure that a rabbit would have an owl themed dresser though don't owls eat rabbits <laughs> Certainly mouses, anyway. Mice, whatever. What's 
What's this thing? Looks like a fried egg. Is this meant to depict anything? Nope, just bedroom rug. Okay. Let's get the stool done. It's a table. Here we are. What are we missing? Something showed up. Oh, lamp. There we go. Got the right side of it. Oh, oh, something else. Oh, the balustrade. Oh, that'll be both the top and maybe a bit on the other side still. Go yeah, good. Now different angles of this tree, the central tree. Just need to blast whatever we can from this angle. There might be a bit behind down below that we've missed as well. Not sure. And then yes, the wall tree is still not finished is now. Alright, well in night oh, okay, yeah. All of this might be to blame for the central tree, what do you reckon? You, you think this has something to do with why it wasn't clean? Maybe, maybe. Maybe just a tad. Alright, let's finish off down here. So we've basically just got the table setting. I do like the table where it's just a big slab of wood just cut through a big section of a massive tree. There was a door that my parents saw. They, were, they just got back from a trip over in the UK and Europe. And one of the towns in England, I can't remember which one, was just this door that was a big slab of wood with, you could even see the knot hole in it and everything. Very cool. Very heavy, but very cool. The table is all one bit, looks like, as well. It's not a separate top and base. Can we get the cake stand? Yes, good. These chairs are pushed in a little bit too far to be convenient for cleaning up. Oh, they're being very forgiving about it, that's good. There's the table done. This chair, I'm not sure what angle I still need to get. Oh, apparently that. Oh, and I got the cabinet door <laughs> from behind. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. 98%. This is going to be perfect timing because I have a minute before I need to take a break. So we'll finish this off and then we'll take a break. And maybe do one more level. Sneak another cheeky level in afterwards perhaps. You know how big it looks like it's going to be. And you can usually tell by the reward. It's at least indicative anyway. We're also going to have to do a little bit of hunting for things that we've missed. There you go. Clock rug. I do like this rug. Now if only, oh hang on, what you could do is you make a rug like this, but you use like an LED matrix or something covered by the surface, and you have it so it actually tells the time properly. That would be cool. You could even do it like this, where you've got like a clock within a clock, and you have it for different time zones, and so it's just oriented, like rotated, based on the different time zone. That'd be cool. Anyway, um... <laughs> Mad electronic designs aside, what have I missed? Probably some clocks, I'm gonna guess. Have we missed any clocks? 99% clocks. 23 out of 24. Okay, which one did I miss? The little one there. There we go. Oh, and now we've got... There we go. Transition strip. Oh, the white rabbit hand fan. That was up here. And I thought it dinged with the rest of them, but it didn't. Writing desk drawers. One more remains but which one that one perfect the rabbit sends in a little bill complete the white rabbit house job fantastic time lapse time
There we are. Well, I never. If I was looking at that house with Dodo like I am now, and he said, Can you believe that only today that house has been ransacked by an enormous child, then set upon by a mix of assorted baked goods, rendering the inside like some kind of pointless art exhibit, I'd say, Never, you're having me on. It's too clean as that. Then he'd shake his head like he is now, and we'd smile and laugh and tootle off, still shaking our heads and laughing and smiling just like we is now. Charming. 